Hello and welcome to some Black Ops 3. The last time I played some Black Ops was around about two-ish years ago, back in Black Ops 2. Now, we've finally come back for the third installment in the Black Ops series. Now, as you can see there by the pop-up, this is being played on PC. There's quite a bit of controversy being created around the PC, around, especially around the graphics and the frames per second and just generally connection issues. There's been quite a lot of issues. I'm playing this on the second day of release, so that is the... Saturday, I believe. It came out yesterday on Friday. This is, I wish I could say this is the very first time of playing this, but sadly, I did originally try and play it with mouse and keyboard, and it was just an absolute nightmare. So, joining me now as I use a actual controller to play time. Now, I'm going to try to be as honest as possible. It may be seen as a bit of a review, but this is a PC edition on the 7th or 8th, I believe, of November. Could be a bit later in the actual day upload, but we'll see. Yep. The game itself, as the, the, the actual amount I've played, is quite a decent game. It's actually quite a bit better than really all the previous two games. Ghost and the... KIA. Not what? Maybe the Modern War. Advanced War. One that I keep thinking because it's got the word Warfare in it, it's Modern War. But it's not, it's Advanced Warfare. It's just this game takes quite a large chunk out of that. And just does interesting that's right that's one of the reasons why i heavily advise anyone who plays this on pc to actually play it with a controller rather than mouse and keyboard is the simple fact of the, the actual controller locks onto people and locks onto our chest height so if you continue to pull it down you end up getting headshots with which i kind of think that's cheeky but then again everyone else probably this i'd say about 80 percent of people that play this plays it with that controller just because of that is just so empowered compared to mouse and keyboard First issue with the game, among many, there are many issues, including the fact that some people have had issues with the game when you get to lobbies. I have problems getting to zombies, which is why I really wanted to do zombies as my first actual video on Black Ops 3, but sadly, there's been issues with that one. Oh, there's another issue getting some frame issues there. Uh, surprisingly, the first time I actually had some frames stuck, which uh, quite what I had in mind when I stuck like, this. Yeah. There's also lots of people going, and every time you kill someone, your character or anyone says just whatever class you was, and they're down, and just simply almost ninety percent of all audio tracks in the game are just you should say that you've killed a certain class. Great, I suppose. Actually, one of the new abilities in my class, which is oh, flaming arrows, which they're like arrows that can, yes, good like that, do an absolute ton of damage. So they want to as well. So, oh no! I actually got an achievement for that. Really fun, actually. I really enjoyed that. That's getting the montage. If I'm still doing actual often. That would be on the montage. I have a montage, but... Battery wasted. Wasted! So, if I was to rate this game in level of actual enjoyment for me personally, I would say this is almost as good as it was in Black Ops 2, which I actually enjoyed quite a lot and actually dive with guns in that class. I don't know if they do similar with some ways you get and not all the attachments with the guns you get special camera I'm not too sure about that but nonetheless the, it is quite a fun game and the it's not overly complicated because one of the line traits is more complicated the more it actually time goes on and the the game the more complex it is. And although this game itself is quite complex in case of the previous type of compared to some advanced warfare it is actually minimally less complex. Although, to be fair, I've not even doubted any of the deck I use on the But there may be much more down. complex features, including the actual special abilities that recharge over time. That will give your character buffs and abilities. Which I quite enjoy. Am I going for this? It does seem people seem to be like using Flashbang last hour. It's much more than in the previous titles. It must be a testament to PC gamers. Or Testament to how good these actually are, overpowered by OC as. Oh! 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 
I would definitely say that you could have played skill. Oh, it ended anyway. But how many kills did I actually get on that one? I felt quite confident in that. I felt pretty confident. It's a kill death ratio for me there. I assume that's supposed to be the RCX Steam from Black Ops, which I believe, and I might have had it in Black Ops I can't quite remember, but I know those days one of the highlight features of the Black Ops trailer. How many did I get? Well, I clearly wasn't the best player because... That's the other team, by the way, but I'm saying I clearly wasn't the best player because we would have beaten this team. But, where did I come? Did I actually was actually the best player on our team, or... And I joined quite a bit late. Oh, yes, apparently I joined in late, but nonetheless I got 17 kills, 10. That's actually pretty good. Considering that, I assume that guy right at the bottom that had 5 kills left was you played mouse and keyboard, because I think at the two games I played with mouse and keyboard, both games I got a kill death ratio of about 0.5, compared to when I used to play on Xbox, of about 1.5 to 2 per game. Pretty good, I think that's actually the average kill death ratio on all Call of Duty titles is about 1. Now, this is one of the features I don't like about the new Call of Duty. I say feature, it's probably a bug. It goes blue screen. The first time that happened, I kind of shat my pants because that blue screen, on the PC at least, means you're in big trouble and you might have to fork out quite a bit of money to get that repaired. This is the unlocked screen. You can see that that's leveled up and the actual gun's leveled up. Depending. Similar to how normal Call of Duty's work, saying that when you level up, you get better items for your guns and the kills. I'm not sure if it's actually run by kill what level your gun is. As you can actually there's my specialist class and it's actually more class depending on what level you actually get in this game. And there's token we unlock tokens. I believe they can be spent to unlock guns as usual and other abilities for your specialist class. I quite like using this one, especially get quite a few kills and tag people in one. As you saw when I was going through got almost triple actual bow and arrow. That was quite fun. I felt like I was playing an MOG Call of Duty. Four streaks are uh, pretty much is air package can't be oh, I'm not sure any of them, but I'm sure I'm assuming these are all extremely similar to what they've created. GR unit that, that could be A9 unit. One of the things that every call made by Trek has had since they released the kill streak other things. Had some kind of dogs or swarms or some kind of Death dog match. danger massive get out of the way you're gonna get killed and speaking of it. Speaking of the order trout game, I would say that my favourite Call of Duty from all time just Make because it had proud. the most passion, the most excitement, the most it put you into the actual it felt like you actual war rather than modern day one which kind of feels like you're playing fiction. Which I know it is, but it just doesn't have that same emotion all that I have to Kind of reminds me of one of the older maps. Down. Map. It might have been a, a DLC Black Ops map. Quite a bit off because there's a big quad there. Uh, go on the other. Actually, it may actually be a remake of that. Potentially, I can't quite remember this bit. That, but it could actually. Be. I assume Track is very good at me. I heard that maybe may the next few more games on that DLC. Oh, that's. But going back to my favourite game saying is World of War. Some people rumoured that this game, well that's actually we now know was Black Ops 3, was potentially going to be World of War 2, which I would love to think of my friends they would prefer that one more than the actual Black Ops series. I believe that Black Ops had kind of run its course. The second one was going to actually alright. The first one was actually really fun, but beyond that, it's just the that apology seemingly get worse. They need to either bring out a new IP or go back to an actual more passionate base where you Less is more, I guess, in square. It was more of a. Uh, let's wait to explain this. Players of old Call of Duty tend to be leaning towards Counter Strike and other games. Like that, just because of it. it's very tactical, but it's also very simplistic. Very similar to the old Call of Duty, where they could just play it. You didn't have to pay much, too much attention to actually learn the mechanics of the game, but to be the best, you had to spend a lot of hours in the game just learning how every gun works, how every map works. Layout is learning all the best camping spots and all that. You can take it. And it also involves teamwork. You can play it professionally. They will now, whenever they play Search and Destroy, which I believe is popular as game modes, in those Counter Strikes one. The actual. It's all about teamwork. Wow, I've almost did an amazing. I think 
that Black Ops itself is kind of gotten to an order time now. It's kind of a date where they should have really we should have gone back to an order time where all the to are much more simpler. But I think it all comes down to financial capital, which is a produced order game. All the new fans, probably, they're, they're thinking all the newer fans are going to be in charge go to Modern Warfare 3 or Black Ops 2. They may not like the more simple which I can see, I can understand. I can understand why they wouldn't enjoy it, because if they're used to all these amazing mechanical suits and just amazing things, Shooter. I see why they wouldn't, but it would also bring a lot of old fans back, which I deem be in a nice way possible. A bit more of a if they free booty, I mean possibly sales may go up. More recent Black Ops, it seems to be going on the more of a downward trend. Black Ops and Call of Duty are the more of a downward trend because people just cannot buy them. Especially the more actual the market, so so many different games coming out, and indie titles they win quite easily. And basically, everyone can do Black Ops. They need to kind of step back and get back into the not so much a niche market, but back in the market that they were known for, and they were leading there. If I really want to play a, a silly, crazy over-the-top shooter, there's absolutely tons out there. But if I want to play a serious shooter, again, there's lots out there. They need to find a correct balance, and I think they're kind of going towards the more silly play. One of my favourite things to say about Call of Duty, I think you can play drums, you can play with one arm behind your back sword, but actually, and still be enjoyable. That sort of disappeared with more recent Call of Duty. And that's become so much more diverse, and yes, they in some way can be seen as good people, but in other ways above. it's kind of taking out some of the fun because you have to be more tactical, you can't just run around the map brain. Well, you can, but it just Don't. doesn't work quite the same. That's one of the sad things about modern day games is the ones that are innovative, the ones that in theory are new. Games that classic and everyone kind of remembers going back to Assassin's Creed and Battlefield they UAV were inbound. better in all time and I know that sounds quite silly by someone saying that but actually play it and yes it may be just an age thing but when I was younger I think I played it just kind of seems that they're trying too hard to play it and so the most few games in modern era have been games that just kind of taken a simple concept and kind of flushed it out and made it as kind of enjoyable as possible Call of Duty is kind of Fun game in the sense of it's not serious, it shouldn't be serious, and no, obviously, they're not trying to make it serious at all. It means necessary, but they're just trying to add so much to it. And wow, that was a really good game. I didn't sign up for this shit. We need to fight smarter. Seems like I'm not trying as much as they can. Now, just they build on the previous game's mechanics and game's items, but adding to it. With these Secret. upgrades, you never stood a chance. The same thing. It is becoming a gimmick every year. And I really would have hoped that this game would have been a more enjoyable game compared to the previous ones, in which it was, but compared to the older games, I just don't see it happening. And if, even if you look at the Steam reviews at the moment, people are saying that avoid it, avoid it like a plague. It's just laggy, it's not that graphically advanced as what they could have been. It just not doesn't feel the same as what it should have been. Now, again, the blue screen is another second feature of mine because I bet one day it will actually blue screen. I think oh, it's just a Call of Duty loading screen. But I don't know. I just kind of feel that this game could have had so much more. Could have kind of made sense out of it. They could have explained that this is how they should have done it, but didn't. Left it as. The old game and just keep adding to it. If you look since probably Black Ops 2, they just keep adding stuff, even if it wasn't Triarch or maybe Sledgehammer games or Activision or anything like that, they just keep adding from the titles. One time, at one point, they will see that what they've done is created the most randomest games title ever, where it just features don't make sense. And I'm seeing it now some features from previous titles that did make sense just don't make sense now. And that's the problem we're having here. They can't say no to features. People previously said, oh, I like that. And the can't, or any other company, are scared to say, we're not going to add it this year because we deem it not to be the way we want to go. And they're scared of saying that. And people just go, well, I'm not buying that anymore. But they should do. If they really care about a title, you must 
Let's say about a tree. If you really care about a tree, you must prune it to make sure it looks at its best, to be its most healthiest. You must remove all the dead leaves, and Call of Duty just doesn't seem to be doing that. They seem to be just leaving it as... I don't know. They're just leaving it as a big, steaming pile of just random mess, Team really. Deathmatch. No real base for it. There's no real explanation to it. It's just people thinking what would be the most outrageous ideas ever mission. and that's what they just do. And I'm sure if you go on the internet there would be thousands and millions of rants about this game saying that all oh, the old days were better. Yes, they were. In the same way as simplistically it was. Fun game. It was a game which required very low skill to enjoy. Mm -hmm. Most games now are quite similar to that. They appeal to the mass markets. It's a case of you have to Dumb down a game to make it as enjoyable for everyone as possible. Kill. But by doing that, you add new features that become more complicated because of that. They try to make it fun for everyone, and I just deem that they should have gone back to World of War, or at least an old period of time where they could have gone, oh, there's no exosuits, there's no fancy items, it's just you, you're gone, potentially kill fix again, obviously, they're to be their perks, and just you, your team, enemy team, on a basic map that's probably crumbling. Round seams. This, this one just look too new. These these maps are. Look at that. How does that? That doesn't say future war. That says potentially a future riot. Yes, but that doesn't look like there's a mass threat to society. That just says, oh well, someone's done a bomb scare. Looks more like a bomb scare than anything. Just doesn't shout. This world is in danger. The things about it just don't seem to. They've gone too far into to make it silly. It's like an action film. Action films have a, a sense of danger, which I don't think that's what they're doing, but did in the sense of you running around the map and there'll be a tank potentially behind you on certain maps, obviously the maps didn't. But there'll be a tank or there'll be some kind of dangerous place where if you can hold and keep, you would feel powerful on the map, but you've lost it. That's the thing, again, balancing. They want to balance the maps, but war and everything else isn't balanced. It's always one side. Everything in life is one side. Threat neutral. And although, it may annoy people on the internet, oh, it's isn't balanced. Yes, but when it's your turn, and when you feel that power, when you feel that it's actually tipped to your favour, then that's a good thing, and you can enjoy it, and you can, and you can try and learn to break it, and when you do it, it's actually more rewarding than you just play a game and everything's balanced, and everything's equal. It shouldn't be like that. I mean, all the Call of Duty's, it wasn't as balanced as what one ones are trying to be. That's what made it fun. It makes it the same way of you actually have to try different strats and different abilities to take hold of different parts of the maps and just... UAV inbound. I know I'm ranting a lot now and maybe more of a review and it kind of has been a bit of a review at the start at least. I split this into two videos depending on how it kind of goes out but initial thoughts, I might even delete the first part because it kind of was a bit nonsense. Oh we're well, lying, it's a like part and yes there are good parts and so going back to it, it's good to hear the professional actual thing and explaining how exciting it is about oh I'll give you two points graphics and eight points to the actual storyline but you can't do that the same way as you have to only rival it ever had was its previous UAV titles inbound. in which case it just tries to add and it knows that and it just thinks oh we just could add more stuff we don't need to add any more this just, add, just keep adding whoa okay bullseye wow you don't need any silly things we just need to keep adding 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 but they shouldn't they don't need it they just go back to more Stuff. The only thing in fact about this mod that you can see from the maps seem to be a bit more flatter, they seem to be a bit more leveled. I remember quite a few of the. In fact, even Ghost had quite a few uneven maps, even though back then they didn't have any amazing. It just kind of seemed like. I can't explain it, but I'm hoping anyone who's actually watching this can actually manage to survive that actually understands what I'm going at when I'm saying it is. It doesn't feel. As the frames are going down, a few minutes loading and feeling fire with my loading game. It's unnecessarily complicated game that at its heart was just so much fun for being so game. Slowed him down. And due to sales figures and potential pressures of trying to get as many people on board as possible, they're gonna kill the scene. That's just how it's gonna be, and I think that's really where I'm gonna end it as he's just saying that. Yes, the game itself. If this was the very first Call of Duty, it would be quite good. But so now that kill. I have previous Call of Duty, not so much the older, the actual older, older ones, like 
the original one, two, three, four, actually one, two, and three, but ever since original Modern Warfare, it's all the way to Black Ops two, in fact. The actual game had enjoyable features and wasn't overly complicated. It just had a thing of you can map enemies, teammates, guns, grenades, and stuff. It was just a sense of it was all very eerie, one sided. Every time you played it, there were guns that could wreck people really quickly. No, and they patched all out in the battery down. The ones. Going back to the actual older Call of Duty, the MP5 silence. That was really overpowered, but then even going back even further to the original Call of Duty, We're such as the actual the original original one, there are still cases that the guns weren't bad at all. If you were left with an actual firearm rifle, you would be absolutely wrecked by people with like the SDGs or anything like that. It was a case of UAV it's not inbound. balanced and it shouldn't be balanced. I don't get why, I mean, I understand completely why it's balanced, but I don't get why it can't be a little bit unbalanced in the same way as. It makes it more enjoyable when you see. One of my absolute favourite things with playing in games like Catch Strike is when you find a team that is in theory better than you in every way, except for potentially tactics. And if you find a tactic that can destroy them and you can break through their defences, that's just one of the best feelings you'll ever get in a video game. That's why people tended to go towards the more tactical games. The previous people that used to play all the Call of Duty were tactical games, compared to the people that have now recently joined the actual Call of Duty. That kind of Look down the nose for that more complex game. Yeah. Just kind of think that newer games are just All meant to be fun. CBS as I managed degraded. to win it there, and I'm finally going to see a kill cam and that's of my own. Overwatch signing off. But still, that's going to be my point. That's what I'm going to end it as, just saying that. Small chat. Should you buy it now? No. Should you buy it in the future? Depends really. Depends on what you think. But final thoughts of Call of Duty. With these upgrades, is, you never stood a chance. If it's on sale. If you think you can, if you've got friends to play with, buy it. If you're going to play on your own, then that's going to be a no. I don't deem this game worth buying if you're going to play it on your own. I think there's better games to play on your own, enjoy and have fun with. But thank you very much for watching. And until next time, guys, thank you very much. Goodbye.